The fact that we're all able to be together and be with Jeff Goldblum, I think he deserves a round of applause. <laughs> Jeff, Thank you so we, much. we brought you here today. We've got a room full of people that just love the heck out of you. But we need to talk to you about your piano playing. Um, <laughs> this is an intervention. <laughs> is, uh, I'm sorry, I apologize. There's a moment in Jurassic Park where you're lying down and you've been hurt and your, your shirt is unbuttoned down yeah. to here that's been painted since. Yeah, like yeah. almost like a fresco because it's so iconic. Did you imagine when you were shooting it that that, that was going to enter the art world as a piece of, of valuable art? And that I would own maybe like a little bobblehead of that and that is currently in my home. Yeah. Really? Yes, you have yeah, that? Yeah, 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 I've yeah, never yeah. seen it. I haven't seen it. I've seen a picture of it. No, Pretty I amazing. didn't imagine that. And <laughs> I don't know how we did that. I don't know how that came about. We were shooting and I don't know how that came about. <laughs> Whose idea was it for me to take my shirt off? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever hear the story? When I first met Steven Spielberg at Amblin, he came in, he said, you know, there's a movement afoot, a new rewrite is happening, and um, your character, Ian Malcolm, is being written out. Yeah, the, the, we, we want to probably give these funny lines and kind of incorporate your character into the Sam Neill character. There's the fun in that. And I kind of, uh, I, you know, there on my feet, not that I ma it made any difference, I said, you know, well, geez, I, you know, I don't know. I think I think you might want that character because of this and that. And, you know, that's what I did, and that had no impact. But you know, I finally got in. But that was that was that. So I was just thrilled to be there, and you know, and uh, trusted that he would do something great. Boy, no, I hate being right all the time. I remember very well uh, the first day that we were in that set. That it was the first time you were acting in front of the T-Rex, the animatronic. Yeah. And how exciting you were. And I would like to ask you, how it makes a difference for you performing in front of a real thing? Oh, it's way more fun as an actor. You know, actors, our involvement is in this middle layer where they're, you're, we're sourcing this raw material, we're getting all the shots, you know, we're shooting the film. But I, if it's animation, that doesn't happen until the next layer, and I'm not there for that. So I don't know what that animation is going to look like. But when you have an animatronic, which is to say a puppet, something very real, visceral, you can touch it, react to it, come up with moments between you and this thing, there's a real connection. So you did all your own stunts on this, or you had a... No, I, I had a stunt, I had a stunt man, but I don't think there were any stunts on this that I didn't at least attempt to do. Are any of those in the movie, your attempts? I oh think there gosh. are, you know, there is one oh, that you the rolled through I the T-Rex. I mean, the T-Rex, like yeah. doing the somersault yeah. through a T-Rex off of real. a That's truck. Real. That's real. That, that was, was a real, real. T-Rex. That was, that was, that was. Yeah, we did it. We did it like three times. Because, like, there's this trick in, in the stunt world where you have a stunt man do a spectacular thing and then he dips out of frame and then the actor pops up, <laughs> you know? And that's always such a giveaway. You know that the actor didn't do the stunt. So we were doing this and the momentum every time it kept bringing me down below frame. Uh, it makes you a little nervous. Pat was like, come on, you, hey, listen, it's early in the movie. Take it easy on your body. I was like, Pat, I can do this. I want, what's the point of having me do the stunt if I leave the frame? One more, I got this. And I did it on that one. I banged my elbow so hard, but I was immediately embarrassed that I was, and I wasn't going to say anything. They're like, you got you okay? I was like, am I okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> this movie was, uh, hurt, it hurt my body. I was like, I just got banged up on this one. Owen didn't somehow. Um, he had a little grazed. Cut. Oh, he got grazed. Yeah, yeah, there was yeah he a got grazed. Graze. Yeah. I yeah. take it back. Yeah, he got a graze <laughs> on his uh, eyebrow. I love that all of us tend to regress back to this certain place where you're you're not thinking as an adult at all. Right. Uh, it's like, what would be awesome? Yeah. <laughs> and then let's do that. The weirdest job. And that's what every scene was. I feel like every every single action scene, we would get there, and it was sort of like, okay, here's here's what's written, here's how it's mapped out, and then Chris is like, you know, what would be cool. <laughs> well, not tomorrow. This just don't fall cool, tonight. He has like twelve year old boy Spidey sense. Like it's just. This is the first I've ever heard of the twelve year old boy thing. And I... <laughs> yeah, over that's and over and over. That's totally again. intentional. <laughs> I mean, I have to really dumb myself down to get to twelve. Win a t-shirt contest, bro. <laughs> I don't. That's not my median resting brain no, level. No, just no, so no, you no. know. 
I mean, first yeah. of all, it was the first day of shooting. Yeah. I just played the John Williams music oh, on the speakers. So, so awesome. we, we are there in front of the crew. And then you see yourself with your costume, you know? Yeah, and yeah. then you see that puppet acting in front of you. And I can tell watching those takes, the excitement of being of being acting from something real, I, I, I can I can see that very well. Because then I can bring my son and, you know, she's got her kids and, like, he's looking at a, a T-Rex laying on the ground. Like, I have a... The, Productions gave me this still photo. It's so beautiful, and, but it's me holding Jack, like bringing him towards this T-Rex, and he is terrified in the photo. And I look at him like, oh, ooh, boy. <laughs> uh, maybe I should have been a little more thoughtful about like dragging a four-year-old into like the mouth of a T-Rex. And when you guys look back on Jurassic Park, does it look primitive to you? Does it look like, you know, uh, you know, King Kong versus Godzilla. Does it look like Mothra? You know. That? No, it's it, yeah. We, we unfortunately, I think for both of us, you kind of you're held to that standard every time. And I, if anything, like the question is, why doesn't it look so much better than 1993? Must go faster. I think it's only six minutes of CGI in the first Jurassic Park, something like that. Because at that time, they couldn't do more. They had to use a lot of animatronics. And I think that uh, when you do one of those uh, scenes, I think the secret is to combine techniques. And that's what works so well from the very first Jurassic Park, that, that you're using all the time animatronics or, or, or guys in suits and combined with the CGI, it's very effective. But you knew your way around that. I mean, from when a monster calls, you'd, you know, dealt with all of those yeah. issues. Right? After shooting a tsunami, I felt prepared to shoot a volcano. And after shooting a giant tree that talked like a man, I was kind of prepared to shoot a T-Rex. <laughs> there are these reaction videos that are online on YouTube of people watching the trailers. And what they'll do is people will make a compilation of all of them and they'll put them in this grid. So you're watching different people react in real time as they laugh and they are surprised and they can't believe there's a Carnotaurus in it. I will sit and watch that for a while. And it's very entertaining <laughs> and it's like having the lights on in the theater. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. People at my gig come up to me and they say, hey, can I film something? Do that scene with me you did with Laura Dern. And they give me a glass of water. Yeah, and they want me to do that, you know. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's really what they want me to do. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to do that again. Like, uh, <laughs> there's like this memeable thing that happened with Owen when he was trying to back down the raptors as they moved towards him. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay. I get that sometimes where someone will come up to me and they won't even say anything, but they'll just <laughs> adopt that posture <laughs> to show their appreciation. The most meaningful and awesome kind of like fan exchange was after my son saw Jurassic World. He just absolutely went berserk, wanted to see it again instantly, demanded on, on having his like entire room is all Jurassic World. He has Jurassic World sheets. And I think as a mom seeing that, you know, there's nothing better than that at all. That's right. That reminded me. I did this morning. I showed him the Jeep commercial that we did of me getting chased by a T-Rex, my two and a half year old uh, boy. And he just goes, again. Again, he just wants <laughs> yes. to keep watching. Yes. Yeah, you guys must be exhausted. I mean, it's, you know, I do nothing, and I'm, you know, I want to go lay down. Said, but, but this is Herculean, what you're doing. I mean, your parts in the movies, I can't imagine. It's, uh, uh, you know, it's like a marathon. It is, and I don't know if you felt the same thing. There's so many times when it doesn't feel big at all, though. You know, the difference between, because we both made small films and big films, in the end, it's just a group of actors uh, and, and a director uh, in, in a circle trying to make something feel real. And how many, you know, concentric circles of people go outside that little core changes, but in the end, it's, it's still that core. This is my favorite setup. <laughs> Now? There you go. And that's how a movie is made. Huh? All right.